Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake admin series on the application. This demo will cover how we will do the failover to secondary account and we will see how the secondary account behave when it is not a primary account and other stuffs. So if you have not seen the recent blog uh, on this topic, I would recommend you to please have a look at my blog to get the more detail so that your context is clear before seeing this demo and if you uh, like my demo please subscribe to my channel let's move to the demo now so now at the moment uh, if you are uh, following my uh, previous demo then you might able to see that uh, my primary account is read right but my secondary account is read only to verify that let's see that I am currently on my secondary account which is my uh, secondary uh, one and uh, I am going to just use the same prod DB which I have just replicated and uh, going to use and insert a record in the existing table which is sales. So if you see I have already a sales table which has four rows as part of primary account. So let me go here and insert one record and I will get an error because prod db is a read only secondary database and cannot be modified let me try to alter my table and add a column let me see i am not able to alter my database uh, sorry table as well right so basically this means that entire prod db is read only and i am will not able to do anything the similar uh, thing is also going to happen with the secondary two and this is also read only and i will get the same error right but now say if I want to add the same thing in my primary database, uh, I think I will not get any error. Let me try to do that. So I'm here and I'm going to insert a record in my sales table. So before uh, entering any data, it is four rows. Let me insert the record. One record successfully inserted. And now if I come here and if I execute this, I will see the five rows here. Right. So you can see that dummy sales data is over here. Now if I come on my secondary and if I query the same table, let me do the same query. So let's start from sales and uh, I might see four records because it is not replicated or it might see five records. So let's see I the replication happens and now I am able to see the fifth record as well. So you can see that my primary account is read write, my secondary account is read only, but when I insert a record in my primary account, the secondary record, secondary uh, database got replicated. Similar to this here, if I come here and if I refresh, basically, hopefully I will see five records now or oh, no. Secondary two has not been updated till now. So here you can see that my secondary two is yet not replicated and it is still showing me four records while secondary account is updated and showing me the five records so soon we will see that five records will also come here i don't know uh, is it replicated now now it is replicated so now you can see that fifth record also get replicated in the second record so there is a, a bit of lag between multiple account replication so it's snowflake decide like uh, on every one minute it replicate but which account it will replicate that is uh, i'm not sure like uh, on what uh, sequence it takes basically it replicate both the account uh, in a uh, some sequence that's what i understand so secondary one is my uh, first secondary account and it got replicated first and then secondary two now say uh, uh, at the moment we can't uh, do this drill uh, normally like we because our primary account is not down or there is no other means that I'll, I can make this uh, primary account down and then I will do the DR application. But to showcase you, uh, we will just assume that our primary database is down and now we want to fail over to my secondary account. So it's very easy. We have to just uh, do execute this command alter failover group, uh, failover group name and then primary. So we want to make the secondary one account as our primary account. So if I execute this, so before executing this, I just wanted to showcase you if I execute this show failover group. Here you can see that is primary true is for my primary account and secondary one is false. 
and secondary two is false. But the moment I will execute this command, this will switch over. And now you will see that if I execute the so failover group, it will show me that my primary account is no more uh, primary account. It is now secondary account. And my secondary one is now uh, primary account. And secondary two is likewise secondary account. So now this is primary account and this is read only. And uh, other two account is my secondary account. But if I if you go on right, you will also see one important thing. The moment I do did the switch from uh, secondary account to primary account, the task on behind the scene got suspended. So now it is like when I did the first uh, failover group, the primary account was null and secondary one and secondary two was started. But the moment you will switch, it will by default suspend all the task replication tasks behind the scene because uh, this is a fact that when you do a switch over, you don't want the replication should be started because uh, you need some time to do all the sanity checks and you wanted to do all some activities like uh, you wanted to replicate the delta part. So say if some of the objects has been all uh, running on the fly right on the primary account and your uh, primary account got down right. So there might be some delta jobs which were running right and those partial data needs to be also migrated. So there might be some delta. It's not always possible that whenever your primary account is down, it's like uh, when you switch over to your secondary account, it's primary account is equal to secondary account. There might be a small lag or small delta between primary and secondary account. And you always has to decide like whether you are okay with without that delta or you need that delta. So based on that, uh, what is the decision of your organization or your project or the criticalness uh, of your uh, application, uh, you will move that uh, delta part into your secondary account. And the moment you move that delta part from primary to secondary, then your primary and secondary will be uh, equal. And this movement will be your manual task or basically you need some extra outside utility which will do this movement of delta task to identify the delta and then move this to the secondary account. The moment you move this delta part, then your primary and secondary are equal and then you can start your replication because unless doing that, uh, your secondary is say uh, lagging behind of your primary account and when you start uh, the replication, it will start replicating the same thing and you will miss those delta from your primary account because your secondary now secondary one is your primary account and the moment you will start the replication it will start replicating whatever is there on secondary account to your primary account and that might uh, miss your delta thing or the delta in your primary account so to save that part uh, snowflake make sure that by default when you switch over it will stop the uh, replication by default and you have to forcefully start the replication so you can also do a means like you have to uh, resume the failover group. So you can do that alter failover group primary uh, fa failover group resume. So the moment I will do this uh, schedule replication cannot be suspended or resume for the primary. Oh, sorry. I by mistake do did in the secondary account. This I need to do on the secondary account. So let me go here and uh, do it over here where I have kept this okay so I will just do the resume over here and I will go here and I will also do the same thing over here the so moment I will do it over here and if I come back here and do the show failover group now you will see that this will be started so now you can see that all the secondary account which is uh, my primary account and secondary two is now started and replication will start over here. Now, if say I wanted to insert a record in my secondary account, say I wanted to insert this record secondary one. And now this will get inserted into this account, this table sales. So if I come here, now you can see that I have four rows or five rows, five rows. And now if I insert this, I will get the sixth rows in the primary account. So if I execute this and if I say select star from sales, you will see that there is a six rows over here. 
and now if I come here and uh, maybe we need to give some time uh, it will start replicating into the secondary database so now if I come here you will see that on the primary account the sales table currently showing five rows maybe in some time it will start showing the sixth rows as well so give let's give us some time uh, let's see how much time it takes so it might take a minute because our application frequency is one minute so it will replicate over there as well so let me come here and see if i see if six rows no i can see only fifth rows but this is one of the things i wanted to showcase you that uh, when you switch over by default it, the replication status will be suspended and you have to forcefully resume the thing so this is a command by which you can resume or you can also forcefully stop the replication if you don't want to replicate and this is the command by which you can drop the failover group so say your task is done you don't want to replicate anymore you can also drop the failover group uh, from your primary and the secondary account but you can't uh, drop your failover group from your uh, primary account unless you drop your uh, failover group from the all the secondary account. So you have to first drop the secondary uh, failover group and then you can drop the failover group from the primary account else you will start getting the error message. So say this is my current primary group and if I want to drop the primary group it will not allow me to do that. It says the application group primary is currently a primary application group in a replication uh, relationship and cannot be dropped promote one of the existing secondary group to primary or drop all the secondary application group before dropping the entity that this is what i was explaining that you can't drop the primary application group unless you drop all the replication group from the uh, sorry the failover group or the replication group from the secondary accounts and uh, this is the alter command by which you can resume or suspend your uh, failover group and uh, let's see if uh, our secondary group has been migrated with this data so now if i execute you can see that now secondary account has been replicated with the secondary one in such statement similarly here also i believe it should have been done now so now you can see the sixth record over here as well so now i can see that how you can do the failover group similar to this you can also do the failover over here so you can also do it like uh, failover uh, on this account and you can switch from secondary one to secondary two and then secondary two will be your uh, primary account and in that case uh, your uh, read write will be secondary two and uh, your primary and secondary one will be your secondary group okay so this is how you can do all your uh, movement between primary account secondary one and secondary two and uh, we will see uh, more details on this topic on the other demo hope you like this demo and if you like this demo please subscribe to my channel thank you